Hey all, so this is Kev, your friendly local electrician, so in Medway Maidstone, and today I want to talk a little bit about our Bible. So this is the 18th edition, Amendment 2, the wiring regs, and I'd call it our Bible because for the main part this is the one document we work to the most. Um, it's circa 600 pages long, and it's got lots of sciencey and technical jargon in it. Um, that we get to decipher for you as the customer essentially and when we put stuff in um, the way we put stuff in is pretty much guided by this so this is BS 7671 um, world-class standard something we work to so effectively we work to world-class standards How about that? and inside here is all matter of things of knowledge and things that we need to do and think about um, going from how to make sure something's safe if there is a bang that goes off, how to make sure something's safe if there's electric leaking where it shouldn't be, um, how to make sure things that are conductive, i.e. metal, um, radiators, heating pipes, boilers, water pipes, um, taps, sinks, outdoors, um, posts, etc. Make sure they're not buzzing when you touch it. Um, things things to look out for in the bathroom, so special measures for in the bathroom for obvious reasons. Um, all the way to if you're working in a hospital that runs on that particular gas that's explosive, um, how to put things into swimming pools, how to put things into motorhomes. So this is the, the full shebang, um, the sizing of the cables, the runs of the cables, um, all kind of dictated in here. And now we're in the 18th edition, and I did just see. So the first edition came out, it was a page long, if that, it might have been two pages, I can't remember exactly, but you can Google it and it, it will show you. First edition of the wiring regulations came out in something like 18, 1882. Um, it was one page and obviously we've had 17 more editions and a shed load of amendments in between um, and you've just got to remember every rule and regulation in here has been put in here for a reason there's a reason that it's, it's developed into such a monolithic book of content from the one page that it used to be one, because back in the day it was probably only really telephone lines or whatnot um, and street lighting that was electric and now we've lived, we're literally surrounded by electric light. If I look from left to right, I have lights, lights, sockets, chargers, TVs, computers, tablets, laptops, the whole shebang. Um, and every rule and regulation here tends to have been put in for a reason and it's not normally a, a good reason normally something's happened and then an investigation's happened and then they've gone hmm how do we stop this from happening again um probably the most recent kind of updates for that would be um the original car chargers people were getting electric shocks off the car chargers this was back in like 2010 um in 2006 ish there were f um the fire brigade ran into a building that was on fire. Um, essentially, the plastic clips holding cables had melted and the cables all collapsed. And you can imagine like string and rope all over the floors. Um, I think quite a few firemen tripped, tripped, got caught inside it and they ended up dying. So that came out. Everything, everything that's kind of above doorways or is fixed with plastic now needs metal clips. So it's all, it's all there for a reason. And at the end of the day, in my head, um, I sign off my work and when I fill out the certificate and I put my signature at the bottom of that I'm essentially saying it complies with this bad boy and I'm saying it's safe to be readily used and used for a long time as far as the as far as the eye can see um, and that's why I dictate when I when I speak to clients and they sometimes come up with creative ideas I've, I've got a Level them a little bit, give them a little bit of, I'm not talking to her, I've got to manage their expectations and just say, look, you've hired me for a reason. 
the reason is of the experience and the expertise and ultimately a lot of it relies on this and if we're not following this um, you know bad things can and do happen so yeah that's um, yeah BS7671 it's a goodie it's a little bible I love it kind of not the most extravagant extravagant read but I've read it a good couple of times yeah all the best